Hello and welcome to What's in the News. We'll start with the platform news. We'll see what's coming up for the Salesforce developers. Then we'll check the incredible work done by the trailblazers in the community focus. Finally, we'll do a quick round of news items. Sockle Builder is now generally available. You can code your Sockle queries even faster with the Sockle Builder. Let's check it. Sockle Builder is part of the Salesforce extension pack and it can be invoked from the command palette using the command sfdx create query using Sockle Builder. You can rapidly design and build a query with clicks. You can check the results and export them in CSV and JSON format. And not only that, the latest update of the Sockle extension provides rich code completion and syntax highlighting while you write code in Apex and Sockle files. Do you want to get some Salesforce platform quick tips? then you should check this playlist on salesforce.com. Salesforce platform quick tips is a collection of one minute tips shared by the trailblazers. You can find a tip on how to build more user-friendly forms, a tip to increase productivity with automation, how to make key information easier to find, how to view errors fast with Apex exceptions and much more. If you want to get in-depth knowledge of features, and use cases of second generation managed packaging, a new short video series is published on YouTube Salesforce Developers channel. The App Exchange technical enablement team has published short videos covering various features and use cases for second generation managed packaging. The first video provides an overview of the series and outlines what you will learn by watching these videos. This video provides a quick overview of Salesforce DX and first generation packaging. It helps you understand the rest of the series even if you do not have prior knowledge. The rest of the videos cover 5 key features of second generation packaging. 100% source driven package development, declarative package configuration, flexible version management, multiple packages in a single namespace and package bundles. You can also subscribe to the Salesforce developer channel for more technical videos. Are you new to Node.js and thinking why it matters to Salesforce developers? Then you should check this blog series. In the second part of the series, you will be learning how to build your first web application using Node.js. Julian covered what Node.js is and why it matters to Salesforce developers in the first blog post. In this blog post, you will learn to build the API and deploy it to Heroku. You will be learning a lot more including how to install Node.js using Volta with which you can install and manage multiple versions of Node. In the next blog post, you'll learn how to access data services like Heroku Postgres and integrate these Node.js applications with Salesforce apps. I'm feeling like I'm missing some essential news item. Yes, winter is approaching. So is Winter 22 release. Let's check some of the important dates to get ready for the Winter 22 release. The Winter 22 release is packed with exciting new features for development on the Salesforce platform. You can sign up for the pre-release org which is now available and try the latest developer edition features. The sandboxes will be refreshed today and also don't forget to block your calendar for release readiness live which will happen between September 10th and 17th. Also block your calendars for next month's What's in the News. I'll bring you some cool features for the developers in the Winter 22 release. Let's now look into some event news. The Dreamforce registrations are open. You can sign up for free. You can join the Dreamforce from anywhere, wherever you are. It will be streaming live on Salesforce Plus, our new streaming service. You can tune in from September 21st to September 23rd. Visit salesforce.com slash dreamforce to check what you can pack into three days. Don't forget to sign up and it is free. It's now time for community focus. He started writing notes while learning the concepts. 
he understood how useful it could be for others while learning. He transformed his notes into a blog site, which is now helping others to level up. His name is Asif Ali and his site is HeySalesForce.org. Asif Ali, a Salesforce developer from Delhi, has created HeySalesForce.org to help other trailblazers. You can find various blog posts on HeySalesForce.org. You can click on one of these tags to find the blogs related to this topic. You can find all the blogs in the post tab. You can also ask the questions anonymously. These questions are posted in the forum. Not only that, he also created a chatbot using Einstein bots. Let's check it. You can ask questions. You can check when will be the next blog post available and so on. Now let's hear from Asif Ali on what was his inspiration to do all of this. Hey everyone, my name is Asif and I'm the one who started HeySalesforce.org and what made me to do this is back in 2018 when I was learning Salesforce. A part of Trailhead, a lot of blog websites helped me to learn Salesforce and it was really amazing. The content is really helpful. So I decided to create my own website where I can share my knowledge with others and and there should be a tab where people can ask questions anonymously. So I added that tab also and I added Einstein both for quick assistant for like like they can they can get latest blog post updates from Einstein boards and create case and all the things. So yeah, that's all about his Salesforce. See you. Thank you Asif. You are the true trailblazer. Keep doing the great work that you always do to help other trailblazers to achieve success. Now, it's time to wrap with a quick round of news items. Meet Brandy the Fox, the newest Salesforce character. Wherever you are in your marketing, she is here to help monitoring pipeline, cultivate campaigns, tell stories with personalization, adapt to trends and much more. In this blog post, Chris Harrison and Philip Ozil share tips and tools to identify the legacy API usage and actions that you can take to make future API version retirements a no-op. Many of you might already know that Slack is part of the Salesforce family now. You can extend your apps to use Slack. Users can access data from Salesforce and other business systems while they collaborate on Slack. If you wonder what you can build with Slack and Salesforce together, you can check this blog. That's all in today's news. Keep trailblazing. Your opinion matters a lot to us. Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, like and subscribe for more videos.